Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here, a YouTube guitarist from South Africa. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a very cool project that I've been working on. So for the last four or five months, I've been taking a standard scale bass and converted it to a 37 inch bass. I've got this tuned down to drop F zero, and that is to match up with my drop F guitars that I have, because you know I like to go low on guitars, but now I've got a bass that can go an octave below that. So let me go through some quick details on the bass, then I'll give a playthrough so you can hear it in action, and then after that we'll talk about some more details on the specs and about the build. So with this bass, it's a FanFret custom made neck which fits on a standard BTB 200 bass. I got this made by Custom Luthier in South Africa over here, and what we did is we planned to have a bass where on the lowest part we could go down to 37 inches so that we could reach that F0 on this bass. And then for the bottom string, it's got a 35 inch scale. So it's going from 35 to 37 inches. And that long scale allows me to tune down low on a space. So now let's hear it in action. I've got a song where I'm gonna play through a full mix with the bass in, and then it'll drop out in sections so you can hear just the bass in the mix, and then coming back with everything else. So I'll check you after the playthrough and talk about some more details on the build of the space. And for the bass tone for this playthrough, I'm using a combination of Neural DSPs, Dark Glass, and Parallax. Okay, so that was the playthrough. Now let's talk about some more details on the build and the specs on this bass. So I'm just gonna back off so that you can see this bass in the full shot. So if I just back all the way over here, you can see that is quite a monster. What I've got here is I've got a straight bridge. I haven't changed the bridge, straight pickups, and then into this fan fret. If you look over here, this is the original neck. So that is straight frets, and then this is fan frets. Now if you take a look at the fan, it is at quite an angle, but it's been designed this way so that we could keep the straight angle bridge and the straight pickups. So the body stayed the same, but the neck was custom designed so that it could have a 37 inch length from the nut to the bridge over here on the lowest string, and then 35 inches on the thinner string. And this was designed by Dogil Guitars, He's a luthier here in South Africa, and he helped me come up with the design of this neck. So we took into factor everything so that we could get the right scale length for the tuning and then have the right maths to design this fan. And I must say, you might be looking at this fan and thinking that it's quite drastic and hard to play, but it only really took me about 10 minutes to get used to this fan to play it. So even though it looks quite angled, it's really comfortable, it's amazing feeling neck, and now I can get down to that drop F0 on the space. Now talking more about the build and the materials used, what we've got here is a maple neck. It's laminated to give extra strength to it. So there's three different layers here that have been laminated together to give extra strength for this long neck. Then you've got the Wenge fretboard, and then there's also a custom designed stainless steel truss rod over here to retain that sort of tension that we need with this bass. So that's how this bass was designed. It was designed so that we could have the stability and tension in the neck, especially with a super long scale, and be able to 
fits into the body of this guitar. I'll leave details below on the Luthier that I used. It's Dogil guitars, they've got some amazing stuff. I've done some previous videos where I've used some of his guitars, but this really is the most amazing neck that I've had built, and it really feels super comfortable, especially with the super long length and this low tuning and these super thick gauges. Talking more about the gauges, I've got a 170 on the bottom over here, then it goes to a 130, a 95, and then a 75. So it was a custom gauge set that I used for the tuning that is used on this guitar. Next up, I'd probably like to upgrade the pickups and the preamp to really just take this guitar to the next level. But for now, I'm super happy with what's been done. Now I can play this bass with my low tuned guitars. Before I was using some MIDI bass to get down there or taking a bass that was tuned to about A or A sharp and then pitch dropping it down. But now it really sounds much better. I'm getting way better results with this. And it's just a nice sort of easy solution to getting to an extended scale guitar instead of some of the other multi-scale basses where the prices are, I must say, quite high. This worked out really nice for me. It was easy enough to do. I was really lucky to have a luthier near me that could do this. And well, really, I think this is going to be played a lot on all my music. I'm going to be adding this real bass into a lot of my productions. So I hope that gives you some details on what can be done with a standard scale bass and getting a conversion neck for it to help you get to super low bass tunings. So that's it for this video. I'd like to just punch a few things before we go. I do have a guitar bass discord server that if you want to join and talk about all things low guitar tunings, low bass, amsims and all that, catch us on there and we can chat about things over there. Also, if you'd like to support me in this channel, I do have a Patreon account that I've set up with three different tiered levels with different benefits that you get that you can support me in this channel. And that's it for the video. I'll check you in the next one.